Hello, Ignite engineers. Welcome to one of your first weekly assignments. Today, we're gonna to talk about the engineering design process. Pay attention to this one. This is something you will use today, tomorrow, next year, the next year after that, probably throughout your entire engineering career. So what is the engineering design process? It's a series of steps that you go through when you're creating an engineering design. Some of those steps are, number one, define the problem. Number two, generate concepts. Number three, develop a solution. Number four, construct and test. Number five, evaluate your solution. And number six, present the solution. Starting off with defining the problem. You need some common terminology or common idea so that everyone that's working on the project understands the goal. So take some time and really put some effort into putting some criteria, justification, investigation, constraints, all of those kinds of things will help you to define that problem so everybody knows what the goal is. Next, we're going to number two, generate concepts. This will be the focus of your activity for this week. Generating concepts involves researching some prior solutions, brainstorming, and then select an approach. We're gonna focus on brainstorming for right now. The rest of this video will give you some brainstorming rules and Mr. Clean and I will actually demonstrate, kind of do some role playing so you can see how the brainstorming process works. Don't worry, we'll cover these other topics, uh, these other steps in future lessons. Just get the brainstorming down for now. All right, guys, how's it going today? So um, one of the first things that we're going to talk about together uh, in our introduction to engineering design class is the design process. Uh, Mr. Hartline went over that with you a little bit. And what we're really focusing on today is the generating concepts portion of, of the design process. And part of generating concepts, not the only thing, but one of the main keys to generating concepts is brainstorming solutions. So as you can see on my screen here, uh, Project Lead the Way describes brainstorming solutions as a technique for solving problems, generating ideas, and then stimulating creative thinking. Um, we can do this individually. We can do it in a group. Uh, we can do it in a very structured manner. We can do it in kind of almost a chaotic manner. There's really not a wrong way to brainstorm as long as you're following these seven rules. Um, as you as you watch the video, you'll actually see Mr. Hartline and I go more into these basic rules of brainstorming. Um, so let's jump ahead a little bit. One of the most important parts of brainstorming is recording it okay you've got to make sure that you've got your answers written down or they could be you could take a picture of the drawings that you've created while brainstorming you could uh, videotape your brainstorming session or make an audio recording of it but you have to have um, those ideas because when you're brainstorming correctly you're really just letting everything free flow and you're and you're not going to remember some of your good ideas um, or any of your ideas for that matter if you don't record uh, those ideas in some fashion all right so we've all probably brainstormed before uh, in different different classes and in, in art and uh, English probably with uh, like writing maps and stuff and, and those are all great great ways to brainstorm um, there are a couple that project lead the way talks about implementing um, one that's uh, fairly helpful that I think is called forced association. That's when you take two ideas that don't really seem like they would go together um, to make one in product. And the example they give here is the printing press, right? So the inventor of the printing press, um, Mr. Gutenberg, he said, hey, why don't we take a wine press and a coin stamp and kind of combine what those two things do? And they ended up with the printing press. 
Another, uh, another method that we can use is called SCAMPER, okay? And it's actually an, anc uh, an acronym, right? An acronym to, to generate new ideas or different approaches. Uh, so I'll let you guys pause this video. I don't wanna read everything to you. You guys know how to read on your own. But uh, there's several different things that you do throughout the SCAMPER method to help you generate ideas. When you get a second, take a time to pause, take your time, pause the video and read through those different sections of Scamper. Uh, the next one, you've seen this before. Uh, you probably just called it a writing web or something like that in your English class. That's when you start with your big general idea and you hatch out to the side, the different break off the different parts of that idea. Um, works really well for engineering problems like it does in English as well. All right. So a uh, couple things that I want you to think about, okay, um, when you're doing your brainstorming is, again, that you really want to have a lot of ideas generated. It's not so much about the quality of those ideas yet. It's more about starting small and then growing those potential ideas because even the silliest things might seem like ridiculous when you're brainstorming, but maybe it'll lead into something that's a little bit... Uh, more possible down the road. So no uh, bad ideas when brainstorming. Have a good day. All right, baby birds. Uh, as you know, we've been learning a little bit about brainstorming. It's one of the first steps under generating concepts of the design process. So Mr. Hartline and I are gonna role play you uh, for you some of the rules and brainstorming guidelines. So uh, the idea behind our topic is, is we're going to improve a solo cup, all right? So the first rule in brainstorming is capturing all ideas. So when you're working in a group, brainstorming for different possible solutions, you wanna make sure that all things are captured. So for example, if Mr. Hartline's giving me ideas about how to improve this cup, and he says, hey, I think the cup tips over a lot. Let's put a wider base on the bottom so it doesn't tip over. I like that idea. I think maybe we should add a straw. So let's record those. Number one, add base. Two, straw. Got any other ones? Uh, I got an idea. How about a giant big handle on the side so that you can carry it around? I think that's kind of dumb. Hey, wait. wait. Remember, you have to record all ideas. Put it down there. Come on. I guess, something like that. So, I really think the cup should be all green. It'll be more marketable. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Profeg. All green. Okay, brainstorming rule number two is allow all members to contribute. So what we're saying here is, is if you have a group bigger than two, maybe five or six or seven or eight, encourage all those other people to contribute as well. Don't just have one or two people that dominate the conversation. So that actually leads right into rule number four, right? Rule number four is to work for quantity of ideas to allow the quality ideas to come to the surface. So if you have a large group of people, it's, it's requested that everybody's contributing so that you have a lot of ideas. And from those several ideas, you can then work backwards for a quality idea. So let's take a look what that would look like. Hey, Mr. Gels, did you have any ideas that you'd like to contribute for this brainstorm? I've got a great idea. 
how about a refreezable ice cube in the bottom that you could, once it melts, put in the freezer and refreeze it again? Idea number 37. Refreeze. All right, so for our third rule, this is a really important one because you don't want to knock down somebody's idea that you don't like because it might keep them from saying something, a good idea, and that you would like, but they're now they're afraid to say it because you've been very critical. So an example of that might be, what about on our cup, if we uh, have our cup and, and, and we add a little television screen to the front of it? That's stupid. That'll never work. There's no way to put a television screen in there. I don't know how you think we can put a television screen in a cup. Let's not even put that one down. I'm sorry. We should put all of our ideas up there. It's a great idea. Just because we don't know how to do it right now doesn't mean that we can't figure it out later. All right, guys. So for our fifth rule of brainstorming, it's called welcoming piling on. And it looks a little something like this. I think we should add a straw to our cup that's automatically built in. That's a great idea. Hey, how about this? Let's make it a bendy straw also so that it has that flexible joint in it so people can bend the straw. I like that, but sometimes you're not just drinking out of a cup. What if we also add a spoon that would be attached to the bottom so you can eat or drink out of that cup? That's a great idea. And how about this? How about we put a stripe on the straw or make it different colors? That's a good idea so that people can tell like who straw is who. We could also add a lid that's automatically built into the straw so that they don't get separated. Fantastic. That's piling on. Okay, the last two are number six, allow a free for all. And number seven, encourage big thinking. We're gonna kind of combine these together because they, they really go together. For example, Mr. Clayney has an idea. I think that we should just really make this cup have like its own portable screen that maybe we can hook our Xbox into, or maybe we can hook up to watch some YouTube videos. Hey, how about if this cup could actually fly to you? So we put on a drone, a little four helicopter drone device, and you could remote control using your Xbox to bring the cup to you when you're relaxing on the sofa. Yeah, what if we connected it like our Alexas to it and then you could say like, hey Alexa cup, add lemonade. <laughs> it's awesome. All right guys, so now you've had a chance to uh, read over some of the brainstorming activities, watch my little uh, summary of it. You've had a chance to look at the first couple steps of the design process with Mr. Hartline. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna implement the things that we've learned today about brainstorming. The way that you're going to do that is by com completing an activity to, for us, okay? So let's go over what our expectations of, of this activity are. So what we would like you to do Guys, you are going to brainstorm a minimum, minimum of 10 ideas to improve a common face mask, okay? So in the upper right-hand corner there, we got a picture of our basic face mask. And what you're going to do is you're going to utilize the brainstorming techniques that we talked about. You're gonna implement the brainstorming rules that we talked about. Uh, and you are going to come up with a handwritten, nice, neat, legible, preferably uh, in maybe in some pen so we can read it on your picture. Okay, and you're gonna give me a handwritten list of a minimum of 10 ideas to improve that face mask, okay? In addition to your handwritten list, you're going to provide a quality sketch, okay? A quality sketch with annotations. Now we haven't done sketching yet. We will do some more sketching in uh in the future but i want you to give me your best quality sketch all right now i realize that not all of us 
are amazing uh, artists. I'm not an amazing artist myself, but what I do know is that I can put in effort and uh, effort will show through um, in your sketching. Okay. And besides, this is like anything else. The more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. So provide an annotated sketch, kind of like the one I have at this shoe here. Okay. Make sure that you are annotating your ideas, telling me about each one of them. All right. And then lastly, to submit this work, to complete this deliverable, you're going to take a picture of it and you are going to upload it on the activity in Canvas called Brainstorming Activity. So you'll take a picture of it and upload that picture so that I can see your sketch, that I can see your minimum 10 ideas handwritten about how to improve a common face mask. If you have any questions about how uh, we want this assignment done beyond that description. Please don't feel uh, like you can't reach out to us either on phone or remind or email. Thanks, guys. Have fun with it. Follow the rules of brainstorming. Nice quality sketch. 10 minimum ideas.